subscriber. I almost forgot how to say subscriber for a second. This is going to be a subscriber influenced haul. Now, this in no way covers how many purchases you guys have influenced. I don't think I could possibly even keep track. In fact, I'm kind of at the point in my YouTube career where most of my purchases are subscriber based as opposed to like other YouTubers, because I started off like you guys, I started off like a spectator. And so I would watch, you know, other YouTubers and then I would run out and get their products. Now it's kind of reversed or inverted. And so I'll talk about how I want a new corrector um, in a video. And then you guys tell me a couple suggestions and then I'll actually buy them based on your suggestions. And uh, so far it's uh, worked out pretty good, so so good that there's an actual haul based around it. Now this was just a one-time purchase that I was kind of like accumulating things um, based on stuff that you had told me and it's Morley, Morley, did we just make up a word? Did we just, I think it's these glasses you guys, do you like, like my glasses? Uh, actually, I could totally include these glasses in this haul. Should I do that? Would that be weird? This video is in the future or in the past when you guys are saying it. So you can't have any input on if I should include these glasses in this haul. Because there's not just one pair of glasses, you guys. You know, Danny does not believe in moderation of anything. <laughs> okay, I'll think about it. Anyway, so this was a one-time purchase that I made from Ulta. Well, with the exception of this. Um, based on stuff that you guys recommended or that's relevant or whatever because it's summertime so I was like oh this is actually really important because it's June it's summer and there's summer related products Wow way to go long introduction you know what we should do we should turn this into a random haul because I just ordered some dresses from Express and they literally just arrived this sleeveless blazer I just got at Zara with another one that makes me look like Dick Tracy, but I kind of really like it. Why is this introduction so long? Okay, this is from Ulta. Let's just get into it. Actually, no, this is from Target. So I was telling you guys in my empties video that um, I do the EOS shave cream. Holy shower water coming out of here. Um, I do the EOS um, shave cream and I like it, but a lot of you guys said like, oh, that irritates my skin because it's alcohol or fragrance or whatever. You should try the Cremo. In fact, a lot of you guys actually Snapchatted me this product in your hand, in your own shower or wherever it was, and I screenshotted it. So if that was you, Jesus Christ, seriously, come on, Danny. So if that was you, I love you, and when I was at Target, I was actually there with my friend Allison, and um, I like saw it out of the corner of my eye, and I remember seeing it because of the name. I thought the name was hilarious. So it comes in two different scents, the mango, coconut mango, and like a lavender one. Holy $8, Batman. So the, um, the EOS one is like three something, and this one has a little bit less product, and it's twice the price. Um, now, rewind, this claims to be a concentrated shave cream, like top of the line, like most exclusive, fancy, comes with instructions type, um, actually, now that I mention it, it did have this little insert that I wanted to show you guys, it's hilarious. So it came with this little insert, when you take off like the cover, it has this thing inside and it says, ready for it? As irresistible as you already are, you will soon be even more after using a little of what's in this tube. Doesn't that sound like a little bit like it's trying to like seduce you? Well, it worked. Anyway, I've actually tried some of these products already, so I'll have some feedback for you guys. Um, $8, it's very slick and slippery. You do have to lather it up. It's unlike, the formulation is unlike anything I've ever used, but if you're like me where you believe in excess, I could see you guys going through this as quickly as you go through any other shave cream or shave gel and end up paying twice as much. So even though it says it's concentrated and you don't need that much product, it's very easy to get carried away. I can certainly vouch that my legs haven't been as itchy, but they still are. But I think that's just me because I'm an itch monster. So I would definitely recommend it. I'm actually gonna include this in my favorites because that's how much I like it. Then you guys also said, Danny, you need to try the Bikini Zone Moisturizing Shave Cream. Now, all right, we're all friends here. Summer's here, you're gonna be in your bathing suit, and not all of us get lasered in our fancy little 
kitty cat parts, right? So a lot of us have to maintain the garden a little bit more trimmed and under control, maybe tamed, maybe smooth. And along with that comes a lot of discomfort or a lot of upkeep or some sort of irritation. So one of you guys actually suggested that I use the Bikini Zone Moisturizing Shave Cream for everywhere, you know, pits, legs, bikini zone, and I was like, actually, that's a really good idea. So I figured if it's something that's gentle enough to use around the hoo-ha area, then it would probably be even better around the legs, you know, which are tougher. So I like this product because it is alcohol-free, paraben-free, sulfate-free, and no propellants, okay? So it's supposed to not have any of the harsh chemicals or irritants that a lot of products do have. I'm a little confused, though, because it does have fragrance but it could be a natural fragrance, but even if it is, it's grapefruit and pomegranate, which are acidic. I don't know, it's a little bit of a contradiction, but I have used it, I have liked it. So far, it's a winner. So both of these recommendations from you guys are awesome. Because this was buy one, get one half off, I did get this, so this was not recommended by you guys. This is the Bikini Zone Medicated After Shave Gel to get rid of irritation, redness, itching, and bikini bumps. So this is a gel that has lidocaine mixed into it, and lidocaine is a numbing agent. Um, well, I don't know if I have an opinion on this yet because I've used it, but to my knowledge, the irritation comes after the fact, you know, once the hair starts growing back, which is two or three days later, right? Or immediately, but you don't, you don't notice it until a few days later. So you're supposed to use this product immediately after you shave, um, uh, wax or what's the other thing, you know, that, that barbaric tool that like rips hair out by the root, what's it called? Like when you depilation, depilate, depilate, <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying, you guys. Um, so I don't know. I mean, I've used it, but I'm like, is it a product that you would necessarily want to use right after when you're not having any discomfort or use it after the discomfort starts? Cause it's going to start anyway, if you don't actually have hair permanently removed in specific areas. So it's kind of like a numbing gel. It does say on here you can't use it more than four times a day. So I guess for those of you that do have a lot of hair, maybe it might be a good investment, but I would definitely not repurchase it. Okay, then also from Ulta, this was recommended by you guys when I talked about sponge gel. This is the Spongibles um, Anti-Cellulite Sponge, and I got it in two different scents but they come in two different packages, which I thought was bizarre because when I went online and I bought, one of you guys left me a comment and said, oh, um, I used to work at Ulta and a plastic surgeon would come in and buy these in bulk, the anti-cellulite um, spongibles. Um, she swears by them. I was like, you're speaking my language. So they come in three different scents. I got two of the three, the lavender bloom and the vanilla orchid. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, they're two different shapes and they are two different packages. So I don't know if they're actually the same product, but we're going to go with it. Two, 20 plus washes in each one of them. I can't say that it's helped with my cellulite because I haven't actually opened them. So I look forward to using those. So if you left me that comment, I love you. Um, I really hope it's like my um, spongel because if it is, that means I'll get my 20 washes and then I can use the sponge to exfoliate with my exfoliator. You know what I'm saying? You totally know what I'm saying. Then one of you guys told me after you saw my uh, weekend vlog where I was like red panda status or like a, uh, my nose itches, uh, where I was like a reverse raccoon, um, I said, oh my God, I'm so sunburned, blah, blah, blah. And then one of you guys said, oh, you need to try an, like a recovery gel. I think, honestly, recovery gel is just a fancy way of saying like aloe vera, but one of you specifically said the Kula Radical Recovery After Sun Lotion. And considering the fancy packaging it comes in, I'm thinking this is a good product. You guys, is that really how we base our purchases on now? <laughs> so it was like 30 bucks. And so this is from the brand Kula, which is a healthier brand. I think that's what made me so easily bite the bullet is what's oh, from Kula. Kula is a healthier brand, so might as well do it. So check this out. 
Save the skin you're in with this ultra moisturizing and deep soothing lotion that uses the natural properties of plant-derived actives, including agave's natural moisture binding mechanisms for environmental defense and calming a sunburn. It's eco-certified, provides superior hydration and promotes collagen synthesis while offering UV protection and clinically proven relief from a sunburn. Agave, aloe vera, lavender oil, rosemary extract, and sunflower oil. The main ingredient is aloe, so it's obviously an aloe-based product. This is what it looks like, and let's see what it actually feels like. So this is to be used after sun exposure. You guys, after I got that sunburn, can we talk about this amazing tan that I have? So after I got that amazing sunburn, oh, that smells kind of nice. I mean, it smells rosemary-y, you know? It smells like it smells like a health food store. <laughs> oh man! All right. Well, it doesn't smell sexy, but it feels nice. So it's supposed to soothe the skin. So after, oh, after I got that amazing sunburn, my skin was so hot, like I literally felt like I had a fever, but like I had no regrets. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I guess you need to add to your summer shopping list a sun recovery lotion, maybe like an aloe base, whatever, or just aloe vera gel that's like three dollars at the drugstore and avoid spending 30 but whatever i'm excited to try this okay you guys i'm gonna go out there and get a sunburn just for you so i can see if this actually works how about that let's do that and then in that same weekend vlog i actually used a sheet mask from leaders and it's the too much fun in the sun why is my nose so itchy uh. It's the uh, Too Much Fun in the Sun sheet mask. It's their cotton sheet mask, but they're designed to use after sun exposure. So I came home after the lake, my face was on fire. I look like a red panda. And I was like, wait a second, I have an after sun sheet mask. I'm so glad I remembered. I slapped this baby on, I left it on for 30 minutes, took it off, then went to bed. I woke up the next morning, I still look like a red panda, but my face was not warm, it wasn't tender, it wasn't hurting. My face didn't peel, which is a major plus. That's what I was primarily concer concerned with, is that my face would peel because I use foundations and powder. And you know, when you put a powder on top of peeling skin, it looks horrendous. So I was like, crap, I'm gonna have like mummy face for the next few weeks. But I can safely report back that thanks to this mask, I didn't have that. Well, I was perusing the Ulta website, and I think that at that point, I wanted to qualify for free shipping, and I don't think I did, so I thought about this, or something like that happened, where I justified two two-packs. If you got one of these masks, it was more expensive than if you got the two-pack, I believe. So in this little envelope, you get two masks. So essentially I got four because apparently I'm planning ahead my social gatherings or social endeavors and I need to be prepared. You guys, you can never be too prepared. All right, since you guys insisted that I make this haul even longer and you wanted me to talk about my glasses, I guess I'll talk about them because I have been talking about glasses a lot recently. In the I, I think in like the last quarter of this year, I've been like glasses, glasses, glasses. You guys, my vision has gotten worse. Anyway, so... I have this issue where my vision is just gonna get progressively more and more blurry. So I'm kind of just milking this whole glasses business. I'm like, you know what, Danny? Just, if you're gonna deal with blurry vision, you might as well have cute glasses to go with it, right? So I actually got these from iBuyDirect and I talked about iBuyDirect in several other videos. I've also shown other glasses in my Snapchat and my weekend vlogs, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna show you guys something that I showed you in my weekend vlogs. So if you don't watch my weekend vlogs because you're like, Danny, ain't nobody got time to watch you for two hours, well, you're missing out on life, sister. So I got these glasses from iBuyDirect. I kind of did like, this could totally be just an iBuyDirect haul, honestly. These are called Japan Morning, and I've always wanted like a Wayfair style type glasses. I've always wanted wafer style type glasses, um, but I never bit the bullet. And since I like baby blue so much, I thought, hey, why not? Um, so those that's one pair. Then these are my sunglasses, which I showed you guys in my weekend vlog. I wore these to the lake. They're the ones, they're the culprits of my red panda tan. How cute are those? They actually have prescription too, and they're polarized polarized lenses. So if you guys just have like $10 sunglasses that aren't polarized, you're basically just wearing dark lenses. They're not actually keeping your eyes safe. So these are polarized lenses, and look, you can see my lights. You can see the secret, the behind the scenes. So these are, I don't know what these are called. What are these called? Till Sunset. 
they're a large frame. I usually wear medium sized frames. These are a large frame. So the reason I found out about iBike Direct, this was actually maybe a year ago. My friend Mallory, she has a channel here on YouTube. Um, and uh, she, in all her videos, was wearing like a thousand different pairs of glasses. And I was like, how does this girl afford so many glasses? So, turns out, she buys glasses from I Buy Direct, and that's how I actually found out about it. So, they're really affordable glasses. They're the best quality glasses at the most affordable price. That totally sounded like an ad. Um, so, you go on there, and you spend like $40 on a really cute pair of glasses, and they can match your outfit. Like, these were a questionable choice for me, because... I feel like maybe when I was nine again and kids would beat me up. <laughs> but I also thought, hey, it's kind of like trendy chic. These are called, what are these called? Mm, does it say? Saint Michel. They're kind of cute, right? I feel like they're a little inconspicuous. Anyway, so how many pairs of glasses did I get? I'm kind of embarrassed now, you guys. I always have wanted a clear pair of glasses, like clear acetate. I kind of have a thing for clear acetate, you know what I'm saying? Like clear acrylic organizers. So I thought, why not some clear acrylic glasses? They're cute, no? Do they look cute on me or not? If they don't, don't let me know in the comment section. These, I don't know what these are called. These are called uh, Escape, Escape. And these are special for um, screen protection. So I picked these to have screen protection, which means when I'm on my phone, on my computer, whatever, it's gonna have that extra screen protection. I don't know how that works actually. I kind of want to nerd out and do a little investigating, but that's escape. And then the last pair, I didn't realize how similar these were to another pair that I already have, but not really. They look a lot like my Notting Hill pair that I'm usually always wearing on Snapchat, but they're a little bit different. The, the tortoise pattern is a lot darker and they're more round. And I kind of feel like I look, I look a lot smarter with these. Anyway, <laughs> it was a late night purchase, you guys. Also, when you order your glasses from iBuyDirect, they come in a really cute little box like this. It looks like a little drawer. And they all come, look how cute this is. I never open them or use them, but they all come with a little like cloth to clean your lenses. And a miniature screwdriver, isn't that cute? A little tiny screwdriver to tighten the, um, you know, <laughs> so you can tighten them. <laughs> anyway, there is, I think, a referral program on the iBuyDirect website. I think where if you use my link or my promo code, I get like a $5 credit and you get a discount, something like that. So it's a referral program. I'm not making like cash off for you guys, but it is a referral program. So if you guys were interested in doing an iBuy direct purchase, I'll leave that info there just to save you guys a couple bucks, but not because I want you to think I'm trying to take advantage of you guys, but I could buy an additional like 40 pairs of glasses thanks to you. <laughs> anyway, I literally have no shame. Since this haul has become extremely random, including the eight minute long introduction, I figured I would share with you guys some fashion purchases. Let me show you guys a maxi dress that I impulsively bought at Kohl's because I think it's really cute. I don't know if you guys live in an area where I live where if you put on jeans, like I'm a jeans fan. I could wear jeans January through December. I love jeans. I love skinny jeans, but lately, as I've gotten older, I feel like when I go out in this Texas heat with skinny jeans, I feel like I'm torturing myself. So I'm like, I'm totally gonna give myself a UTI by wearing these tight pants in this hot weather. So maxi dresses have come to save the day. This one is from Lauren Conrad, or LC Lauren Conrad. Super lightweight, cool cotton. It is black, so it's not like something that I would say, oh yeah, wear it out to a ball game or to your son's soccer practice, because you'll cook. It'll be like you're wrapped in foil. But it is a really nice um, summer essential if you wear like a maxi dress, because A, you don't have to shave your legs. B, you're like free, free. Your legs are free in the long dress, so you're getting a nice little breeze. And I really love that it's almost like a halter, but not really. You know what I'm saying? Like, it has the neck, like the way that the neck is cut or the shape of the back as well. It looks like a halter, but you could still wear a strapless bra with it or even like a black bra and have your straps show and it's not gonna look awful. Anyway, the selling point for me were the little palm trees because you guys know palm trees, summer, totally means summer, whatever. I thought it was very chic and classy. I think I'm gonna cut the pom-poms off though. I don't know, I just can't with this pom-pom trend, you guys, the pom-pom earrings and purses and the pom-poms on the shoes. When I was 13, pom-poms were worn 
for ravers. You know what I mean? Like party kids or what were they called? The, those kids that would go to like to raves and they would wear like all those um, bracelets that had water inside and glitter um, and, and striped like rainbow bright socks and things like that. So for me, pom-poms on a classy dress like this, I don't know if I'm feeling it, but they are black. So they're a little camouflage. I mean, if they were like rainbow status, then I'd be like, whoa, I'm not even buying the dress. Anyway, how's that for a tangent? Then I got two dresses from Express. So this dress, I was actually on the fence of because I was like, I'm gonna look like a sexified Beetlejuice. Like that's literally what this is gonna look like on me. So I text my mom a picture. I was like, mom, what do you think about this dress? She was like, listen, don't make me repeat to you that if I had your body, I would be wearing a dress like that every day. <laughs> So my mom gave me one of those pep talks where she like grabs me by the ears and like wakes me up. So it's a mini dress, it's a striped mini dress. The stripes go in the proper direction where they need to emphasize certain areas of your body. So I thought it was kind of a really cool dress. I'm willing to put the illusion test to the test. Does that make sense? I'm willing to prove this illusion right or wrong by wearing this dress out on a date. Do you see how I'm totally trying to sound selfless and it's totally selfish? <laughs> anyway, it's from Express. Along with that dress, I got this dress, which is one of those dresses that you need to have in your collection because it's super flattering. It's like a scrunch dress. Scrunch? It, ruching? It has ruching, there you go. So it has ruching, you guys see that? That's Ernie's hair, by the way. So it has ruching again in places where it's gonna make you look like maybe you do have a bottom or maybe you don't have a tiny little pooch from having two kids. So it's kind of pretty awesome. I love the fact also that it has a high neck or a high collar so you could wear a regular bra with it. You don't have to bother with the strapless or stuff like that. Anyway, I thought it was pretty cool and it's a really lightweight sweater material. Oh, and check this out, you guys. Look at this. Wait, hold on. Look at this. Oh, uh, can we say sweater garter? And the last two fashion items, I'm actually wearing one of them right now, and this is a sleeveless blazer. Sleeveless blazers, you guys, they are the way to go. Get yourself a dark one and a light one and wear it with everything in your closet. A dress, shorts, jeans, a skirt. They go with everything, and they have the ability to make you look 40 times more chic just by throwing it on whatever you're wearing. You guys, the tank top that I'm wearing is like $4, it's from Target. It has holes on it, it's awful. I use it to clean my house, but guess what? I just threw the blazer on and now I look like I'm super chic professional filming this video like I know what I'm talking about. So, sleeveless blazers are awesome. This one is from Zara, you see the back? And I'm just wearing it with shorts. You see what I'm saying? It's like, oh yeah, do you want me to go to like a ca business casual lunch? Sure, let me throw on my sleeveless blazer. Now this one, I have to show you guys this one. This one's a questionable purchase. So, I walked into Zara with my friend Paola, and I was like, dude, I need that sleeveless blazer in my life. And she's like, yes you do, it's stunning, because you, can, you guys know how I feel about bright colors. But A, I didn't realize how expensive it was, and then B, when I came home, I was like, holy I look like Dick Tracy. So, <laughs> you guys, like, don't I? Obviously, I would wear this with pants, maybe white pants, and I don't know, something else. But it's, <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I see you guys laughing over there at your house, wherever you're watching this video. I think I got bamboozled, you guys. All right, so uh, Dick Tracy's back in the building. Yeah, so I was like, I really need it in my life. I'm not going to get that much use out of it because of the color. It's one of those things that's going to be like, there comes Danny and her banana blazer again. Um, but I kind of like it. It's the same color of my very first car. I used to have a Beetle. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put on these glasses for my outro. Just for nostalgic reasons, these are the St. Michelle glasses. I don't know. I kind of like forcing myself to use things that I don't normally, that I wouldn't normally wear, like Dick Tracy sleeveless blazer. Anyway, all of the stuff that I mentioned in this super long, super random haul will be listed in the description box below. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if I inspired any of your future purchases. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys, uh, I love you so much. You know what to do. If you guys found this video useful, entertaining, or learned something, please give me a thumbs up or subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye, guys.